Hi, today I want to share with you inside my Traveler's Company, a little look at my Traveler's Company Passport Art Notebook. I'm Tammy of A Peach Life. And let's get started. So I've added a little patch to the cover of mine. I've debated this on and on and on, but I thought it's so cute of Van Gogh taking a little selfie in his uh, field of sunflowers. How perfect is that? And I kept it on here for a bit just to look at it and I went for it and I ironed it on and I'm so glad I ironed it on because sometimes in the past I will use like Fabri-Tac glue or crazy glue and ironing it really like flattens it down a lot. And so I like that, um, it's certainly not by far flush, but it's definitely uh, a nice sleeker look. So. If you've been on the fence and thinking about that, I would definitely say to go for it. I love it, I love mine, and it makes yours a little unique compared to everyone else's. Um, okay, so we'll take a look inside. If um, I happen to want to just do like a little simple grab and go, this would be it. I wouldn't really need anything else. I may wanna take a little mister with me, but it's not necessary. Um, I have little color swatches here. I have one of the little art toolkit uh, paints. And you, it's just arttoolkit.com. And it's the same brand that Traveler's Company used when they made their limited edition kit. And it came with, I chose the six Van Gogh paints and then I added the 12, and those are Winsor Newton watercolor paints. And I changed out um, my palettes a bit, but it's great with plenty of little surface and just perfect for at home or on the go. It fits perfectly inside the Traveler's Company little pouch. And then I can carry along and a sample of my colors. This is also the paint ones, swatches that I had made. These are the Van Gogh paints that you can choose to add in when you make that purchase or not, or you can choose to buy it without. You can choose to buy it with some of the little magnetic. Let me go back for a second and tell you these little paints and trays are all magnetic. So you can pop them in and out easily, move them around to how you want. I put my darker colors over here. Um, that phthalo blue, I did not want rolling into my oranges and stuff like that. Um, if you paint, you know that phthalo blue is very mm, dominant. Okay, I love it though. It's just very dominant and you don't need much of it. And then, um, so my little notebook, and this is the, uh, paper for painting. It's the Passport Traveler's Painting Paper. It had a little number, it looks like I've covered it. And my little decorative cover there. So in the beginning, I was just sort of uh, putting my paints. These are some more Van Gogh paints that I have that's in a watercolor set. And in another video, I'll definitely share with you how I have, a, um, it's still small, but it's a larger, at home or on the go set up using the Galen Leather small um, medic box or medic bag, I think medic bag they call it. And so some little watercolors here with a little Van Gogh quote. Another palette of my Van Gogh colors, it's these, they're shades of nature. And uh, some of my Winsor Newton watercolor paints. This is another palette. And here is a sampling of these Van Gogh Shades of Nature. So I will paint a picture here utilizing these colors. And then here is another. This is um, like a little pocket sized palette of Van Gogh watercolors and um, just lovely the colors that they they picked for this special van gogh watercolor pocket palette um 
all my Van Gogh watercolor pocket palettes are by Talon's Paint. Is that it? Talon's Paint? Yes, I think so. Let me look that up for you guys while I'm right here um, to make sure. Talon's Art. Let's see, I wanna make sure I give you guys the right little info here. Royal Talons, that's what it is. Okay, um, Royal Talons, so all my Van Gogh paints are by Royal Talons, and even the ones that the Art Toolkit Company, um, the Van Gogh paints that they put in their little um, swatch shows here. Your little pans, thank you. Sorry, like the words are escaping me today in the little pans is also um, by Royal Talents. So I love that. Um, love that they kind of all really go great together and they pick special colors just for their Van Gogh colors. So this one is a special little uh, palette. They also sell it at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, but you can get it online. And so this is my little, um, inspiration of Van Gogh's, the cypress trees that kind of inspired me with these paint colors. And then, um, then I still have uh, plenty more space to keep going with my paintings. I'm really, really new to art, uh, to watercolors. So just kind of like learning about that. And obviously my inspiration came from Van Gogh uh, when I went to the Metro Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, and that really, I'd always wanted to paint, but I have so much more creative people in my family than me, and I'm just like, can't really even do stick figures, so it had always been so, um, maybe out of my reach feeling like something that I couldn't do, like that was not my art area, uh, and it was theirs, and I have my other skills and other things, and so, I finally became brave enough and went for it. And even though I'm always sharing with you guys, like it doesn't matter what it looks like and don't compare, you know, comparison is the thief of joy. So don't compare your stuff to others. And I had done that, I think for too, too long or thought like they're the extra creative ones, but you know what, you just try and it's your thing. And if somebody wants to critique what you do or you write or you create, like it says more about them than you. You just do your thing and you just shine. And um, the most important is just to enjoy it. Have fun and enjoy that. And I have really been having the best time and enjoying that. And so, um, again, I have some more little pages. This was on the little specialty cover of um, my little watercolor pocket box. And, and in the little back... I have, um, so if I want to wipe my brush, this is a water brush, so you fill it with water, so you could take it on the go, and I could do little drips in my pan to start my watercolors. I can wipe that off. I know people have different little things, but if I just wanted a little something to take with me out to the lake, to create in my garden, to just at home, however, um, this is absolutely more than enough. The art toolkit, they have other little things to hold your supplies and stuff like that in as well. So maybe if you didn't get that special little limited edition one from Traveler's Company, like never fear, Art Tool Company makes them, it's just not gonna have that little Traveler's Company cover but um who knows maybe travelers company will make others but for me well that's a tight fit but for me it was more important to have the little paints than to have it be a travelers company logo on it so that's it i can put my little clip when i'm painting or creating on either side um, or right down the middle it works out perfectly and I've been enjoying. I've been doing a little bit with acrylic paints, a little bit with watercolor, but this is my what I all I have right now in the passport size, 
but I do have some other special watercolor paper that I got from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. They really have some from kids to specialty um, papers and um, paints and things like that in there. And then that was it. After going, was it last year or so, year and a half ago, I just was like, this painting has been calling me and I'm just gonna not be scared and I'm just gonna go for it. And it's crazy to think that I was as worried or nerve wracked or as scared as I was. I don't know why, just I guess I didn't wanna fail and, or I didn't want to do something that I thought I loved so much and not be good at and to somebody can look at that and think you're not good at it. But to me, it was just in the doing, like I did it, I completed it and I loved it and the experience was just so nice and so calm. Oh, there's also, if you are on Apple Music, and I may have shared this before, but um, there's this album called Painting. And it's not about painting, but the music is so lovely to paint to. And it's just, I think all uh, like instrumental, but uh, it's really just sounds darling. And so if you have Apple Music, you might want to look that up. And if I can find the link, I will um, post it. But if not, it's Apple Music and it's called Painting. And um, I'll actually peek at that right now while I'm right here with you guys. Let me put that in and see what, what it says. Oh, didn't I say painting? Yes, I wrote in music. Okay, here it is. And it's by Luxid. It's L-U-X-I-D. Again, L-U-X-I-D, and the album title is called Painting, and even the, um, the cover is so pretty. So, okay, so if you get a chance to listen to that, again, it's on Apple Music, but you might be able to find it on any anything else. And that's just a look inside my little Traveler's Company passport as just a little special grab and go and take with me and I can't wait to fill up the pages more and I have a new insert waiting for when those pages are filled up and uh, yeah I just am loving it and I hope it inspires you to try something that maybe you've been wanting to uh, do but haven't because boy is it worth it and so many times in creating it opens up more ideas and more passions and more things that we find that we love and so I love to read about all the artists and the people I'm a pot I'm a, what it just keeps starting it over oh okay so I hope that it gives me I mean I hope that I have given you the inspiration to go out and try something new um, or a little way of how to make a little small on the go carrying art toolkit. Um, just any or all of the above because I know so many times um, you guys inspire me, those in my group, um, those that I follow in return. I appreciate so much all that you guys share. So go out and create and enjoy. And if you have something you want me to see, I would love for you to tag me in it so that I um, can see it and take a look. Thank you guys.